Hey everyone, welcome to today's DIY video. All right, so to get started, I have this very cute graphic that I made on Canva. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did this. So you're gonna to go to Canva, you're gonna to go to the Elements tab, and you're gonna type in whatever image or um, graphic you want your bookmark to have. As you can see, I have a lamb, cherries, and a bow, and I'm gonna put everything onto the blank page here. Just make sure that your blank page is the exact same size as whatever paper you have at home because you want it to show up nicely. You don't want anything to like bleed out the edges. And a quick fun fact, if you see any images and you don't like the color, you can actually go to edit on Canva and then click adjust. And if you scroll down, you'll see a part that says color edit. You click the color and you can change the hue and the saturation until you find something that's a, <clears throat> a little more pleasing because you don't always have that option on Canva. And then when you're done, just click download and print. Okay, so when you're all done, you can go ahead and start cutting out the first image, which obviously, as you can see, is this very cute bow. I'm gonna be using these very old scissors that I have, which is missing the thumb piece, but I like scissors that are a little bit less sharp because then I'm able to glide it over the edges, um, which just makes it look more I don't know, neat. And I really want this to be cute because if this isn't cute, I'm not gonna use it. All right, so when we're done here, I'm going to take my bookmark. Now, I made this bookmark on cardstock and sized it to three centimeters and 16 centimeters. The original color was white, but I did print this color pink on it because I think the bow just looks so much better, as you can see, against that nicer pink. Then I'll take my super glue stick and I'm going to gently and very carefully put glue on the bottom corner edges of this bookmark. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to seep through because it's obviously very noticeable. And like I said, I want this to look clean and neat. And then when you're done, you can just smooth over the bow at the bottom of your bookmark. So far, so good. It's looking cute. Now we're gonna take our ruler and measure three centimeters from the top of your bookmark down. I'm doing this because this is the area where we're actually going to fold it because this bookmark is gently gonna go over the pages of whatever book or notebook that you're using that you want the notebook, um, that you want the bookmark for, I should say. And then I'm gonna create a nice clean line and that area is what I'm going to fold. I'm doing this because sometimes I just have problems with straight lines and I want this to look cute. And this is what your bookmark looks like. For this next bookmark, we are gonna use this lamb which I already cut out off camera. And I am going to make a little tiny dot at the top of the lamb and this is the area that I'm going to use to create a hole. I actually had no access to my hole puncher, which is what I would usually do, but this is a good substitute. Now, after we have the hole, we're gonna take this ribbon that I got from Walmart. It's 26 centimeters, and you are going to gently place that through the hole on the lamb. As long as a little tiny piece of thread can come out, then you're able to pull it, and that ribbon is going to go through, even if it's bigger than the hole. And once that's in, you're going to adjust the ribbon. You want it to be at the even height, which is gonna make a huge difference at the end. Then I'm just gonna take the ribbon, wrap it around my index finger and my middle finger, and place the bottom part through the hole. I'm just tying a simple knot here, guys, but a nice clean knot, and then secure that to the top of the lamp. Then I'm gonna wrap um, the ribbon around my index finger and my middle finger. So I have these two nice little loops that kind of look like bunny ears. And then I'm gonna take the bottom of that ribbon and I'm gonna, again, create another knot. Then I'm going to secure it very gently. I don't want it to like rip the hole and then just cut it out. And then you'll be left with a very cute lamb for your Bible or your Bible study book, whatever you have. Look how adorable it is. 
So just like the other bookmark, this one is made on regular cardstock that I printed the color beige on. Why? Because I think it will look a lot better for this bookmark. Now I'm taking this die cut pad that I bought from Dollarama and it's full of very nice looking vintage items. And I'm gonna take this little flower and this is what I'm using for my bookmark. It also, it's full of like quotes and very profound words so i'm going to take this one this one's less than profound but it's very nice it actually says i found this flower it's just for you so just going to take everything onto this bookmark and i kind of like how it's kind of off page but again i don't want to put too much glue so i'm just putting a tiny line of glue through the middle of it that way it will just cleanly go onto the bookmark. And I'm gonna do the same thing for pretty much the rest of this bookmark. Just a little bit of glue and then place it. Okay, that's looking pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna go back and get this tiny little flower. I wasn't sure where I was going to put this in the beginning, but you will see I found a very nice place for it. It also has this little tab, which I think is perfect because this will pop out of my Bible and it will like kind of look like the real deal here. So just a little bit of that super glue stick then place it and that part that's sticking out I'm just gonna cut it out so this ends up being a little bit shorter than 18 centimeters but you know not a big deal and then I'm gonna take the flower and I'm putting it at the edge of that tab in like that empty space area and just look how nicely that comes together and voila so here are all of our bookmarks we got our two little lambs, our vintage one, and our bow. Look how cute. I just love it. Now on to the exciting part of this video. The first part was very cute. This part is exciting. Okay, now for this giveaway, it's not your usual giveaway, and you'll know in just a second, but first to the prizes. I'll be giving away two prizes to two people. The first winner will receive a very cute sister bracelet, which was specifically made for those in the sisterhood community, along with a physical print. You can also see it right behind me um, with the title, Do What Makes You Holy, and also two bookmarks that you can use in your Bible, your prayer journal, your Bible study book, or whatever you're reading at the moment. So that's the first prize. The second prize, the other winner will be receiving the same digital, sorry, I keep saying digital, the same physical print along with two bookmarks as well. So those are your prizes. Now to how you can win these prizes. You don't have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want you to, but you don't have to. You don't have to comment down below. I want you to, but you don't have to. All that you have to do is come to our event. The event is called Virtual Game Night. We'll be hanging out, playing games, having fun, getting to know one another, and the top two scores at the end of the night will receive these two prizes. So it, it could, it's gonna be a little competitive, it's gonna be fun, um, a great way to meet people and get into the sisterhood. So that's all you have to do, show up for the event, play, have fun, and you can win these two prizes. That's it. All the information will be down below in the description box also with the link that you must register the event with. Yeah. I hope you guys are excited. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to hang out and play games. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video and I will see you next week. Bye.